Hey everyone, back to you in today's video. We're going to have a look at the next 8 to 10 days. In today's video, this will take us up to around the 17th of July. So, going into the second half of July and going into the second half of summer as well, of course. So, we're getting on with it now. And, uh, of course, we had the uh, really hot weather last week. But uh, we may be seeing signs of a little bit of a deterioration uh, taking place in the patterns we go through into the middle part of, uh, of July. I don't want to go too over the top of it, but we could be just seeing signs that things are going to turn uh, a little bit cooler and more unsettled, perhaps, as we go through into uh, the middle of July and sort of the midpoint and the high point of uh, summer. So it's going to be interesting to see how things uh, play out, but we'll have a look at the charts in a moment. A bit of funny old summer uh, so far. It looks like that's going to stay uh, the case for the next few uh, uh, next few days and next week to ten days. Uh, anyway, before we get on with that, though, just to say about the hours, there's links to articles on all the pages at gasworks.com. You could have a browser with you and uh, click through the links. You have a paid website. Thanks very much for, the, for uh, doing that. For your ads on some of the pages, you say open out within the content. When you watch them, they'll close back up again. Thanks so much for getting involved and helping to pay for gas. Gasworthies.com. So it just starts off with the 500 millibar height anomaly charts. We've got the uh, ECMWF over on the left and the GFS is on the right of the screen as you're looking at it. 500 millibars, 80,000 feet is an area. If you have to see a high pressure, low pressure are being moved around by a jet stream running above. These are the mean flow charts for the next week to 10 days. So this does take us up to around the 17th of July. So what we see here is that the ECWF is placing quite a deep, uh, or quite a deep time of year anyway, uh, quite a deep area of low pressure trough uh, around and just to the north of the country. And that means that we're bringing the jet stream more or less, maybe even a little bit, just a little bit, to the south of the country, so almost on the cool side of the jet, with a trough of low pressure around the country. That is likely to be really quite uh, cool and possibly quite unsettled uh, as well. So that's not a great uh, a great uh, chart from the ECWF uh, for the middle of summer. The GFS isn't quite as bad because the trough is uh, closer to Iceland. It's out to the west, northwest of the country. And it's not as deep either, uh, but we are still bringing the jet stream really through the country here, uh, and then get a very deep trough setting up uh, around western parts of uh, Russia. If that gets into Scandinavia, uh, by the way, that could uh, turn things really quite cool and unsettle from the north. At least it's you know, sort of westerly, so it's not all that cool. If these uh, deep troughs, they both show it actually, this deep trough here around western Russia and northeastern Scandinavia, if that was to sort of push into Scandinavia and towards the North Sea, that could bring some very cool and unsettled weather. But it looks like it's staying across western Russia uh, for the time being. So just generally, perhaps a little bit of a deterioration being hinted there uh, by the GFS and the ECM. Um, ECM is worse than the GFS. If we have a look at the GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles for uh, the next couple of weeks, we'll start off with temperatures first of all. We've got the uh, red line here, which is the 30-year temperature average. We can see that uh, we're a bit above average just for today, but actually we're going a little bit cooler um, through the rest of the week. And then we get a push up in the temperatures there as we get through into weekend. Just briefly, uh, temperatures do lift up a little bit into the uh, start of the weekend. Then they cool down again, uh, actually, as we go into the start of next week. And overall, we're not really deviating too far uh, too far from the 30-year uh, temperature average there throughout the ensemble. There is a little bit of scatter, uh, of course, as we get through into this second part of the ensemble. But overall, no real sign no real sign of anything desperately hot or desperately cool uh, coming up. You'll remember that when we had the heat wave uh, last week, we uh, got uh, 850 HPA temperatures in the upper atmosphere to around there, to around 20 Celsius. And uh, clearly there's no sign that we're going back to that sort of very extreme heat over the coming uh, couple of weeks. And overall staying sort of average, which uh, average in the upper atmosphere at this time of year will lead to relatively warm days on the surface. That's going to sound very, very strong, of course. If you're around the 30-year average at this time of year, on the surface, temperatures will tend to still be a little bit above uh, average. You have to be quite a bit below average in the upper atmosphere to get temperatures going below average 
down on the surface. Uh, so cooler but uh, not desperately cold sort of weather. Now in terms of the uh, rainfall spikes which are on the bottom of the chart, it's not a great deal for the next week actually. There will be some showery bursts coming through. This is for London by the way, probably a bit more up in the north, but not a desperately wet week coming up for uh, the next week to 10 days. But I think as we go through to the second half of the charts, chart, there may be a bit of a wetter trend developing there into the second half of the, of the ensemble. That's a long way off. It's up the extended range, so I won't get too concerned about it uh, just yet. So let's put a question mark in there. But uh, I think it does turn uh, just a little bit uh, uh, wetter in terms of what the ensemble is predicted anyway into the second half of July. And that will probably tie in with the ECM showing that uh, trough of low pressure becoming relatively deep for the time here to the north of Scotland. The temperature anomaly for the coming week, this takes us from the 7th of July to the 15th, showed that uh, we're going to be a little bit below average with the temperature. That could be a bit over the top. I would suspect temperature anomalies would come out close to average, uh, actually. But uh, certainly no sign, as I said, of a return to that hot weather that we had last week. The rainfall anomaly shows a bit of an all-south split. Um, so for South England, Wales comes out mainly dry. We saw that on the ensemble. Or dry than average. There will be some showery bursts coming through at times, but overall a dry than average week. Wetter than average though across the northern parts of Scotland. Here's what the uh, charts are showing then. This is the um, GFS first of all for Saturday. We do bring up that brief push of warmer air Friday into Saturday. It won't last very long because this low pressure will cut that warmer supply of air off as we go through the weekend and by Sunday we're in sort of a west northwesterly flow um, which will be cooler and perhaps bringing some showers up into Scotland. Then the Azor side tries to ridge back as we go through into start next week. This is Monday the 13th with the Azor side trying to throw a ridge up across the country and actually it does settle things down quite nicely for the south but this area of low pressure to the south of Greenland will be threatening rain to Scotland and eventually this ridge gets flattened off again as we go through next week and this low pressure comes down from the northwest. so by day 10 which is Friday the 17th of July we're uh, turning it more and settling cooler again as this uh, low pressure rolls around the top of the high. This is very similar to the weather that we had in June really. It was a relatively cool June. Um, uh, it wasn't colder than average but it was relatively uh, cool month uh, the final week term warmer so that sort of uh, offset thing but for the first three weeks temperature was uh, was cooler than average uh, and this is very similar to the kind of pattern we had in June uh, actually which kept the south with a lot of dry weather but the north wasn't very good at all. We have a look at the East and UF. That's not as uh, not as good as the uh, GFS. Actually, we've got this low pressure uh, cutting off any sort of warm feed over the weekend, so it will turn cooler into the weekend. And as we go into next week, this area of low pressure becomes quite deep out in the Atlantic, and the ridge from the Azores High isn't as strong. So uh, actually, it does turn properly unsettled. I think on the ECM next week. We saw it on the height anomaly chart. This is for Tuesday. Um, we've got a 995 millibar area of low pressure bearing down on Scotland. This could bring wet weather, proper wet weather, across all parts of the country through the course of uh, next week, Tuesday into Wednesday. And then that goes off to the east and the winds go into the north and the northwest, which will keep it pretty cool and unsettled right up to day 10, uh, which takes us to Friday the 17th of July. The, uh, the flow is still from the north to northwesterly um, with the high pressure out to uh, the west of the country. The GM is quite good, though. Uh, if we have a look at that very quickly before we go, we can see that as we go into next week, the Azores High just building quite nicely through the middle part of next week and actually sits over uh, the country on the Canadian model through next week. So if you like dry and warm conditions, the GEM is okay. But it's always a bit different. And reading between what we're seeing from the GFS and the ECM, whilst it might not get quite as unsettled next week as the ECM UF is showing, it looks like we're going to have uh, generally mixed conditions, let's say that. Quite a bit of dry weather, I think, in the south. The wettest weather will always be in the north on this sort of pattern. 
and the temperature is probably no better than average. So uh, it's not a great uh, mid-summer period um, coming up. No sign of a return to that hot weather we had uh, last week. But it won't be a washout of the period, particularly in the south. There'll be a lot of dry weather. But uh, if the ECM is right, I'm going to keep an eye on it because it's a good model. If it's right, maybe a bit of a mid-summer uh, deterioration. So watch your space and see where things are going. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.